guys, welcome back to MJ Show and Tell. And today we're doing another special review. And I'm sorry I haven't been back in a long, 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 long time. It's probably since Endgame has came out. And so that's pretty long. So I've, I'm going to do another review today. It's going to be different, but it's going to be exciting at the same time. Some of you probably recognize um, this as being a Marvel Select toy. Um, let's compare him with Red Hulk. I need your help to defeat Hulk. I've been wanting to kill that guy for a long time. Um, so let's do a comparison of a... And this is cool because all of all three of these are Marvel Select toys. I got this Hulk a few months ago. I got that probably a few weeks ago. And I got this like the same day I got the Hulk. Um, I had got this Hulk of uh, my money and my dad had got this um, um, Hulk. I mean, Abomination. I, I get a lot of toys from Great Escape. Um, if y'all have any ones near you, you should check Great Escape out. They're pretty cool. If y'all have a Great Escape band that y'all live towards, um, you shall check it out because it is very cool. And if y'all um, think Great Escape just sells toys, they sell like comics, records, posters, uh, movies and stuff like that. It basically says buy, sell, and trade. Spider Man and Miles Morales, Spider Man. Like, um, it's funny what size this Spider Man is. I got this offline at a uh, some kind of company. Uh, like, I can't remember what it was, but it was some kind of weird company, and it took a while for it to get. To my house but yeah like i like i like it but it's like i just don't like how taller he is because in the comics really peter parker is basically supposed to be taller than miles morales because he's older than miles morales basically in the comics spider-man is already like 27 years old and miles is like 15. now we're gonna compare them with some spider-man villains I got this rhino a while back. This rhino is from this thing called the Sinister Six thing, and it, it's from this Ultimate Spider-Man show. Okay, Mysterio, I have him. As you can see, Spider-Man is r kind of taller, but uh, like I think that's okay. Like he, they're basically the right size. Get Venom. Okay, now I have it. Like, Venom is very, like, not sturdy when he stands. Like, he's like, um, I already have the thing. Uh, you seen that a while ago. I have another thing, like, that is shorter, and it's from the Fantastic Four movie back in 2005, I think. I wasn't even born then. Like, I also got these two, like, Great Escape. This is a very old Johnny Storm thing, so it's very hard to stand up. So there's some Fantastic Four toys. The reason why, if, if y'all see it, like, um, there's like a little, like, blood-looking thing. That's just because sometimes when I play with him, I act like sometimes in the movies where they get punched. Like, I use sometimes, like, some dry, like, some erase markers where like it's washable like so I don't want to use permanent sharpies or nothing because that will mess the toy up put those down and this thing has a gimmick to him uh, he could like move his arms it's kind of weird where it can't move his arms up like that but it can move up like that
So now I got a Hulkbuster. Um, this is a, a, a y'all guys, I've, most of the people that's watching this video probably know what Titan Hero is, so the, they are like not the most coolest like articulation toys. Like they don't have that much articulation, they just move like this. Like, like when I first bought it, like my granny bought this for me, so like I thought it was a bath toy at first, but I found out it was actually a Titan Hero. It's Iron Monger toy from the Iron Man movie. I like the Iron Monger because it has these missiles on his arm that can mess Iron Man up. I wish I did do a review on this Iron Man um, back and y'all probably would have heard a, a recent video then, but like I just decided not to do. Oh, you can't defeat me. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. And I have a Ant-Man and a Wasp toy. Like, it, I can't remember if I reviewed this on the channel once before. I think I didn't. I don't think so. I had the Ant-Man on the table, but he seems it's been, oh, there he is. At first I thought he had turned small and jumped off the table. Look at this, there's his helmet. You can see what it looks like. And take this hair off and put that on. Now, like, they're both masked. Um, you gotta take down Thanos. I'll jump in his butt, blow his head off, and then you can take the gauntlet off. That's disgusting. That's the only way we can do it. He's like, uh, he's like, and this is probably one of my most favorite toys on the table of uh, the Ultron from I think the 10 years toys they called it like um I I surprisingly found this at Best Buy one time uh, me and my dad was in there I think looking for something I can't remember and then we went to the toy section to look over there like and then we saw we saw Ultron I, I saw Ultron toy and I was like oh dad look at Ultron toys he's like oh he said like, you want to get it I was like mm-hmm so we went went ahead and got it before it like sold out so like it's pretty cool like I think it's really detailed more than the build a figure that was that came out back um, when the Age of Ultron movie came out. They're the same size. I am the one that's worthy enough to grab that gauntlet. <sighs> you stupid robot. Ooh. He's a Yeah, I think um if at least if Thanos didn't have the gauntlet, maybe Ultron would have a chance in defeating Thanos since he's very powerful. Yeah, and there's one of these at the table, like like most of this at the table is Marvel, but like uh, this one is DC Aquaman from the movie that came out last year. And I can see like a fight scene of Aquaman and Namor like it's kind of weird because it's almost like they copied each other because both of the lands that they're king of is called Atlantis so that's kind of weird I keep forgetting his brother's I think his half brother's name oh King Orm yeah here's Killer Croc since I'm more in the Marvel, like I, I don't have that much DC stuff because I'm like really in the Marvel more since like usually Marvel and then movie wise, like they usually just kick DC's butts, but Aquaman and Wonder Woman like did very good. So those are the only ones that went higher. As I heard, Aquaman broke the Avengers Endgame um, trailer record, like, since it was so good. Um, guys, 
we don't have enough time to review all of these on this table because there's probably like 70 of these on this table. So, um, in the comment box, let me know um, what toys you like and what kind of toys that you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and don't forget to um, hit the notification bell and let me know in the, com the comment box um, how many toys you think that it's on this table. Let me know in the comments. Bye, guys.